The SCF is a more efficient way to operationalize cybersecurity and data privacy operations by simplifying the underlying controls that power an organization's cybersecurity program. The reality is that most organizations struggle with defining the minimum security requirements that are necessary to address both their compliance obligations and needs for secure practices. The SCF provides a straightforward and scalable method to define those must-have and nice-to-have requirements into a holistic control set to operationalize cybersecurity operations, risk management, and third-party governance. The glue that holds a cybersecurity program together is its control set. Unfortunately, most organizations lack a uniform set of cybersecurity and data privacy controls that addresses all of its statutory, regulatory, and contractual needs. Without that underlying foundation of clear requirements, it leads to poor governance practices and an overall weak security posture. In simple terms, the SCF is a meta-framework where it is a catalog of controls made up of over 100 cybersecurity and data privacy laws, regulations, and frameworks. This control catalog contains roughly 1,200 controls and is logically organized into 33 domains. The structure of the SCF normalizes disparate control language into something that is usable across technology, cybersecurity, privacy, and other departments where they can share the same control language. The SCF enables not only intra-organization standardization, but inter-organization standardization where control gov 3 means the same thing to one organization to any other organization using the SCF. That is truly unique to the SCF. However, the SCF is more than just a control set. Each control has a control waiting to help understand risk, since not all controls are the same. There is a built-in risk catalog and threat catalog where those risks and threats are mapped to SCF controls. There is a capability maturity model to help define what right looks like for your organization, a risk management model to enable holistic risk management practices at the control level, and an evidence request list to define expected assessment artifacts that would be reasonably expected to satisfy controls. We even have assessment objectives to help provide objective criteria that can be used to assess controls. The sweet spot for the SCF is medium to large organizations, but it has been successfully used by small organizations. Any organization with complex compliance requirements can benefit from using the SCF. We are just trying to make it easier for cybersecurity practitioners to do their jobs, since we all benefit from organizations having better security practices in place. There is no cost to use the SCF and quite a few governance risk and compliance platforms natively support the SCF as a built-in control set. You can download the full SCF in Excel format from securecontrolsframework.com and start using it today. The SCF is made up of volunteers who are specialists within the cybersecurity profession who have a focus on governance, risk, and compliance in the cybersecurity side of data privacy. These are auditors, engineers, architects, incident responders, consultants, and other specialists who live and breathe these topics on a daily basis. The end product is expert-derived content that makes up the SCF. Like it or not, cybersecurity is a protracted war on an asymmetric battlefield. The threats are everywhere and as defenders we have to make the effort to work together to help improve cybersecurity and data privacy practices, since we all suffer when massive data breaches occur or when cyber attacks have physical impacts. The SCF was created to help organizations do better with their cybersecurity practices. Hackers share information on attack methods with other hackers, so why shouldn't the good guys share information on how to best protect an organization? We decided to take action and make a difference, since we feel it is too important to wait for someone else to fix the problems that exist. The SCF went live in 2018 and its adoption is now worldwide, where it is in use by some of the biggest corporations and governments. We have the ambitious goal of providing cybersecurity and data privacy control guidance to cover the strategic, operational, and tactical needs of organizations, regardless of their size, industry, or country of origin. The end state is to help organizations not only become and stay compliant, but maintain secure operations. The SCF Council has a few humble goals. From a framework perspective, become the leading meta-framework that organizations can use as a Rosetta Stone to build secure and compliant cybersecurity and data privacy programs, and from a process improvement perspective, leverage the SCF's conformity assessment program, which we call the CAP, to fundamentally disrupt reform how cybersecurity third-party assessments are performed. 
If you want to learn more about how to really make the most of the SCF, please read the Integrated Controls Management Model on the SCF website, since it helps explain how to implement a plan, do, check and act approach to your cybersecurity program. Having a solid cybersecurity program starts with identifying and implementing the appropriate controls and this approach helps walk you through that process.